depending upon how the object interacts with light, it can be of three types. The first one is known as opaque. Opaque means that it does not allow light to pass at all. All the light which is hitting an opaque object is always reflected. For example, the mirror. The mirror in your home or your plate or your school bag or this pen right here, it, they don't allow the light to pass through them. They are completely opaque. The light would just come in and all of that light would be reflected, maybe some is absorbed. The second kind of object, like we said, like the glass, they are transparent. I can see through them. I can see through them really clearly. I can make out 100% what is on the other side. They are very clear. Okay? They are transparent. Transparent objects can be colored or non-colored. If the light coming out is not diffused, if it's not scattered in this way, we would call the object transparent even if it is colored. So colored glass, colored glass is an example of transparent object. Translucent objects on the other hand do this kind of scattering. Right? So light, light enters and the light which comes out is really scattered. So what is, what is on the other side, I would only be able to sort of make out its outline. So this is an example of translucent. Right? So two is the example of translucent. They can be both black and white, right? sorry, clear, or they can be colored. So in case of translucent, if there is a star placed on the other side, for example, in here, in this example, I would only be able to slightly make out what's on the other side. I would not be able to see it clearly. It would be fuzzy. So that is known as translucent. Whereas in the case of transparent, I am able to clearly make out what's on the other side. It is not fuzzy. It is really very clear. Maybe colored, maybe not. So example of transparent material are glass, okay, cellophane, right? even colored cellophane, water, air, all of them are transparent. Translucent objects, the examples can be frosted glass, your butter paper, the tracing paper that you use, all of those. Ground glass, so glass, when it's ground, it's broken, it's shattered into small pieces, it is, it behaves like a translucent object. Thin sheets of plastics. So if I use plastic, right? Very thick sheet of plastic, it would be 100% opaque. But some thin sheets of plastic, right? For example, if you're, if you're uh, using those uh, polythene bags, if you look through them, some of them would appear to be translucent. You'll be able to make out what's on the other side, not clearly though. So those are all trans, uh, translucent. Now with this, we have understood three kinds of objects. Transparent, opaque, translucent. We have also seen that objects can also be luminous or non-luminous. All these kinds of ob objects like opaque, transparent, and translucent, they can either be luminous or non-luminous. So, so there is no, uh, they are completely independent. Okay, An object can be opaque and luminous. An object can be transparent and luminous. It can also be translucent and luminous. For example, there is a clear light bulb, which is transparent and luminous. There is also a fuzzy, a whitey, whitey kind of light bulb, <laughs> which is translucent and luminous. So they are completely independent. There is no, there is no uh, sort of relation between being opaque, transparent, translucent, and luminous and non-luminous. So they are completely independent.